All right. Live on all the friends channels. This is the comic show. The live comic show. We are live across all channels, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. Welcome to the stream. Today is the comic show format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through uh, our comics of the week so far and kind of talk a little bit behind the scenes, show you some of the process videos and uh, dive a little deeper on those. And then with the remaining time that I have, I will work on uh, what's currently on my plate and uh, we'll talk a little bit more. So if you're new to V Friends, welcome. This is the V Friends comic show. I am the daily comic strip artist, DJ Kaufman for the uh, for V Friends. We put out a daily comic strip Monday through Sunday. The Sundays are bigger, just like the classic like newspaper comics, right? And um, hey, everybody, thanks for joining. Yeah, so we have the daily comic strip. I'm going to look through those and kind of just review the re review my thoughts on them. Uh, in the chat, you could tell me who your favorite V friend is. If you're not new to V friends, please put in the chats across wherever you are. Um, what your favorite bee friend is and why i always like to hear that it gives us good context on like not just who to feature but also we just like to think about the characters a lot so please do that corso's in the chat corso's in all the chats good day corso and i'm gonna go ahead and put my chats up real quick here we're gonna go ahead and look through this we'll start with last saturday's comic strip and we'll work all the way up to today so if you haven't read the comics this is also a good format to kind of re-review so let me see where we were saturday 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 du, 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 du. all right saturday was the super bowl party strip basically featuring a closed party the big game party trying to get in and in order to get in you had to bring a snack and og ox was the uh, doorman and i tried to tie in a few of the things that we've thrown in like Easter eggs from the, the, the previous strip. So we had the Super Bowl of nachos and uh, the burrito phone and just little fun things like that thrown in there. And, you know, a throwback. This is really kind of a throwback to our inside joke across V friends, the bison versus catfish. Also in this comic here, we've got the first appearance of the peas pea salad kind of showing up little cameos sensible sommelier back there last class standing kind of like waiting in line to get into the party and uh thought it'd be fun if i just kind of show because people that aren't watching the live streams to see the whole process here what if i just kind of give a time lapse replay of how it all kind of begins you can see this is the the sketching portion of course i'm not drawing this fast this is a replay <laughs> but uh you know i start out with a rough we have the idea already kind of in an idea board and then i'll i'll flow through and kind of get the lettering a little in there the dialogue it could change a little bit over time sometimes the characters kind of speak differently hey guys thanks for joining the stream today Gonna be, we're reviewing the comic strips and for the week, and then I'm gonna be working on uh, one of the new ones here. Let's see, where are we at on this one? So yeah, the pencil process kind of goes, I'm just gonna kind of zoom in on this panel here while we watch this, this penciling process. So you can kind of see how I, I think I kind of changed the pose a little bit, changed the eyes, that's kind of fun to watch actually figured out where the sommelier was going to be, some of the background art, and then just kind of changed the expressions on their face. Yeah, definitely kind of fun to watch all this. I'm going to speed through this a little bit, but you can see that like, then we get into the inking process. So there's quite a few steps that go into creating the comics. It gives us time to kind of change things up a little bit. Hey, good morning, Steve over on TikTok. Alex, would love to see these time lapses on your page more often. Yeah, we 
we save and record all of them. So, you know, then we get into the coloring stage. This is kind of important whenever I'm doing the coloring live, you'll see me like block in these shapes, like white, white, or maybe like a dark gray, because I'm basically um, what we call flatting in the colors so that I can quickly color across all the shades on the bull, or I mean on the ox, all of the portions of the bison here. Right. Well, it's, it's funny to see the color difference now that I'm looking at. The one on the left looks way more like the iPad, but the live version over here on TikTok is very bright, more saturated. Like TikTok saturates it. That's interesting to me. Um, thanks, it's me, Patron. So some crush in the comics. Appreciate that. Again, if you want to throw in the chat, if you haven't, who your favorite V friend is and why. Always love to see that. Okay, so, and for um, Alex over on TikTok, you mentioned you want to see these these streams more often. Well, this version of the show, we're just going to review. So here's our Sunday strip. I'm reviewing the Sunday strip. Put the V Friends title card in uh, Jets colors, of course, because you know, sooner or later they'll be back in the Super Bowl. Um, this concept, you might have seen it, but Swaggy Sea Line and Hype Horse, they have a very low budget halftime show here <laughs> going on. And uh, featured Cynical Cat, he's just there for the snacks. And of course, he's that kind of friend that wishes that the both teams lose. <laughs> right. Okay. And then Optimistic Otter, of course, Swaggy's got his chain, his 2021 chain there always it's always fun to draw that i don't know why <laughs> put a gold microphone one of those old school 1970s you know like where did all the budget go for this party probably into that microphone right <laughs> um yeah so basically then they're introducing the musical guest peace salad <laughs> golden microphone and then the idea that peace salad only kind of says peace salad so she's kind of singing or they are they are singing peace salad <laughs> peace salad peace salad this is from something that gary once said so it's like you know you're gonna get people to say peace salad and the cat's just confused i tried to my wife said can you make the face of a cat where they're kind of tilting their head kind of like trying to understand something that's going on and i tried i kind of failed there but de decent enough <laughs> gets the joke across and then they're like, I thought Juicy Jaguar was going to be here, but it turns out a throwback to uh, Flex and Fox with the AirPods. I mean, the uh, <laughs> AirPods, the Apple Vision Pro. And then, of course, the last panel was breaking news. The Bandicoot crashes the game. And they're like, how is that even possible? Right. So, yeah, I can kind of just show you the time lapse of this one real quick. Time lapse replay. I don't know if I, okay, come on. It's a big one. This one goes on for quite a while. So you can see, I started with an idea where this was actually gonna be a balloon that was tied, oh, that was tied to the desk and flowing into the other panel. And then, I don't know, I just changed it over time. Like as I was thinking about it more and more, I liked the idea of breaking that panel there, but I decided to just go with a classic like Goodyear blimp. I thought it was more of a filled up more of the space. Same situation here. You can see that I'm kind of fleshing out the characters, kind of deciding what the what the poses are going to be, kind of capture the gestures real quick. And then I get in there and I start actually getting into like the posing and like the really fine tuning of the strip the characters at this point i might throw you know throw it to the team and say like hey what do you think of this or you know but pretty much these are good to go and i know at this stage i could probably you know i don't go right to inks because i like to mess around with the the poses like was the cat going to be back there i didn't know where i'm at now where am i yeah, it's fun to see this because I might change a pose 
based on like he's kind of whispering like, hey aren't we supposed to have someone else there I, just, I switched the fox to be looking this way so that it would pull the readers into the, the last panel or make you if you're swiping whatever however you're reading it and uh, that's when I changed to the Zeppelin pea salad here that was fun to draw like you know not a normal thing to draw <laughs> for sure Get into the actual figuring out the P friends balloon there where did I skip around to and then I got into the inks so you can see that like if I swipe my finger back and forth I can be kind of like a DJ hey Jared how's it going going through the strips here in the comics show this is the comic show series of our streams where I'm kind of reviewing the work I did here we go in the process you can see I'm back in the coloring stage done the same thing you can see here in this one without me zooming in I'm working on just swaggy sea lion and all the colors so I'm doing all the purple glasses across the entire thing then I'm doing the chains because I'll select the color yellow and then I'll just go around so it kind of makes for a little speedier coloring, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of fast forward through that. And you're looking at probably, oh, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to say how many hours is on that. It was less than the other Sunday, but it was about on point though. All right, cool. That was the Sunday. Then we got into Monday. Where are we here? Monday was the kind kudu and heart trooper i had misspelled kudu uh, and they caught that the last minute thanks jeremy and team <laughs> so it's nice to have a team of people reading um this was one of the fourth wall breaking the fourth wall strips we were asking for your love stories to kind of come in corso's uh pumping up the tiktok chat can we get it up to 2k likes what are we at right now we're at 1.9 k likes over there on tiktok and that's a great way to support the comics is to like and comment and just you know kind of come in here and support the stream too so i appreciate it we really appreciate you sharing the comics as well so yeah then this one we were basically it's the first time i've drawn love trooper and the first time i've drawn kind kadu um i like that they're repairing the wall that you might remember that the kind warrior crashed through earlier and they're kind of like giving it some tender love and care you know and then they're technically breaking the fourth wall again as we said so uh so they're calling for your love stories um we got some we didn't get a whole lot of of love stories which was you know not disappointing but uh, there were some good ones though and uh, I'll, I'll maybe take a sneak peek at the one that i'm working on for uh, tomorrow okay so that was that i'm not going to do the process of that one here we have, um, this was a well-known meme on TikTok for a couple years now. The, would you still love me if I was a worm? <laughs> uh, hats up, hat, hat tip to May on the team for bringing this, this idea, this concept. I was kind of like, I never, I'd never heard of it. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a trap. So I thought sensible sommelier, they're in a restaurant. He made sense to have in there. I also do subtle things like that glass is nearly empty. And so I needed the sommelier to be doing something in the next panel. So I'm always thinking about that. And in this case, he's pouring that he's filling the glass back up and whispering in his ear, like it's a trap. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Loving the, uh, <laughs> loving the, uh, energy in the chat as far as like getting it up to, uh, what are we at now? We're at 4.5 K. Let's go. <laughs> that's great guys um so it's a trap and then of course like the kids thinking like or this guy's thinking like oh, he's concentrating and like he sees the worm from the dirt it's like heck yeah and he says that out loud so heck yeah and then the, the girl's like oh do you really mean it you're a keeper i did notice when it got published that i forgot to center this a little bit better we're gonna fix that right now just for the you know future printing of this um sometimes it'll be a little bit off but, you know 
That's the beauty of technology. We can go back and fix it. So cool. That one's that. Um, then we had the Valentine's Day. So I did my version of some of the, we had a, some really great Valentines across all of the friends to hand out. I'm really proud of the Juicy Jaguar. Um, <laughs> which is just fun to draw on the fun pose, you know, a little juicy uh, energy there. Um, I also liked doing this like little trooper up here and it's like kind of like a caption. Um, I just like doing that sometimes like and messing around with like the word balloon a little bit like it's love. It's not just a balloon. It's kind of like energy, something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to zoom out here. You, you, you might have seen these, but I'm going to go ahead and hit replay on these guys. Time lapse replay. Again, these were pretty fun to come up with. You can see that I started out with like a couple ideas and I was just like, is this panel going to be this? Is this panel going to be that? You might see a couple others that are in there. Burglar, can I steal your heart? I had one for common sense, like, you know, loving you just makes sense. Um, so I had to pick like four, you know, to go with. I started with the Juicy Jaguar pose because I just kind of had it in my head. Wow, is this AI? No. This is an AI. This is all hand-drawn uh, art. This is a replay of the, it, it, it records every stroke that I make in the program. So we can go back and watch the, the time-lapse replay together. It's kind of fun. It is futuristic. <laughs> so again, I like to, you know, some of my graphic design friends are like, can't you just use a font? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, to me, I like to do things that are hand drawn and have that hand drawn look. Um, I'm not opposed to using a font or speeding it up, but I just like cartooning and lettering. Here we go with the sketch of the first time I've drawn the uh, adaptable alien and the adventurous astronaut in the strip. So that was kind of fun to kind of just, you know, I'm just kind of playing. I didn't know what the spaceship was going to look like or this flying disc, but I wanted to have heart on it. And our man, the burglar, this was the one big idea I had to put in. It's my favorite, you know, the idea of like, he steals your heart. It was just really, you know, I really like that. And again, like I was able to play with the lettering a little bit just to keep it unique, I guess. All right, 8.6K over here in the uh, TikTok. <laughs> the TikTok stream, thanks guys. Let's see here. Yeah, so we get into the inking stage. I can kind of fast forward through this a little bit. Let's kind of just zoom out a little bit. I can just scrub my finger through the, even just tilting it like that is kind of neat. All right. You're out of this world. You're my favorite adventure. Can I steal your heart? It's kind of like a signature. When I was a kid, I mean, I, well, you guys all probably had these Valentines. But I had like my favorite Valentine's from like comic strips like Garfield and stuff like that. And we'll just kind of take a look real quick. At, again, I block out the shapes, you know, so that I can kind of just get in there and separate them on different layers. And then um, get the coloring. I kind of put a bear in there too. Like sometimes I'll paste the characters in to kind of grab their color schemes because they're very colorful characters across all of you friends. So. This was a fun one to um, paint. Actually, I like to do some like digital wash painting for backgrounds. It's one of the styles that I just like personally is like the backgrounds can be more of like a wash and then the characters are more like bold and animated. I just like that look. I did forget to put stars. I was gonna draw little dots here like so again. Sometimes when you're up against the deadline, you cartoonists just say like, well, you know, you got to ship it. You can't spend too much time doing this kind of stuff. But I, I like to just put a couple, just a few in there. Just to be thorough enough, right? That's kind of nice. Sweet. Yeah, thanks for all the love with the comic and... Um, we do it daily so make sure that you're hopefully it's part of your day like you just check in check the comic um let us know what you're thinking this one was a little more simple one 
And it wasn't because like, yeah, you know, it's nice to kind of go from a detailed one to more, but the idea is just a very like simple concept with these two characters playing off each other. So this is for you. Cynical cat, of course, is like, why did you, why did you <laughs> kill this flower? And, um, I want you to know that even though you're cynical all the time, I'd miss you if you were gone. So kind of like the idea of, I've heard Gary say it. I've heard other different people say it too. It's just like the people that are in your life, um, your friends or whatnot, like give them the love while they're here kind of thing, you know? So I like that. Also, this is a nice, I don't know why I liked that gesture. Well, let's take a look real quick at that one. Time-lapse replay on this one. Cause you can see like when I captured that gesture it was probably a, a real quick, you know, like, there I'm capturing the the pose of the flower. I'm also thinking about these because a lot of people are using them as stickers, you know, plucking them out. So I thought that one would be a good one. And it was, I think Tyler used it on our team. And I was like, that was a good one. So mission accomplished to me. I'm always trying to think of like, can they reuse these in the future? Um, there, see, I, I kind of, at that point in this panel, is when I captured that that cat walking pose. And they're kind of above the ground, like walking a little bit. And um, I, I just like that gesture. You capture a lot of that in the, um, the small parts. I'm gonna zoom to this one portion of this because I remember it as I was editing it. And I kind of wanted to, I didn't want like just I could just do plain backgrounds like that, but I wanted to do a little bit of a an effect where they're kind of like, that's the cityscape behind them. Like maybe they're walking outside, you know, that kind of thing. And then at the very end here, my, my wife told me like, hey, that cat looks like he's levitating there. Can you make him touch the ground a little bit? <laughs> so I was like, oh, you know what? There's some space here. I can actually kind of grab them and, and blow them up a little bit make them fill up the space a little bit more so i did that oh and i killed that last we killed the last balloon so it said like you're something all right and it just felt like it didn't need it so one of the ideas is like to remove what's unnecessary this kind of hits the joke um and, and leave it be kind of you know what i mean okay so that's that strip we're getting up to we're catching up to where we are at Today's strip is the, what I call like the listening tree, or it's the first time I've drawn reflective rhino in the strip. And the idea was like, there's a character um, in the original script here was like, there's a character that's just got something on their mind. They don't know what it, like, don't want to talk about it. Don't want the world to know. And the rhino kind of gives them some advice about like, sometimes you just need a good listener. So kind of like a therapist would, would be for adults or something like that. But, um, but you know, trees are good listeners too. So if you just go out in nature and I got the kid whispering and then he feels better. So again, like if I just do a real quick here, <clears throat> then I'm gonna get to showing you what I'm working on now. Time lapse replay. So I started, it's the first time I've drawn Rhino. So like I'll open up the page and I'll just kind of figure out Rhino. Uh, a little bit. So it's the first time I drew Rhino. Kind of did some different poses. Like, what does the shape of his head look like? Didn't want him to look like a hippopotamus, you know? Um, and then I, I was like, okay, cool. I like that sitting pose. Here we're doing the roughs. We have the roughs here. Kind of moving things around a little bit. The pose Y, zoom in. Change the panel angle a little bit. Again, roughs. And then getting into the actual, like, you know, penciling, the actual detailed penciling. <clears throat> I like that idea. Gemma over on TikTok said you should do a keen kingfisher and a panda trying to take a photo of it. <laughs> it took me almost two years to get photos of one, but I just had to be patient. That's awesome. Hey, look at that. We're at 13 K likes over on TikTok, guys. That's awesome. Thanks so much for supporting and watching the stream on this Friday afternoon. So yeah, you know, 
not much more to say about this one except like i like to draw trees so and it's also one note here would be that it's still winter time there's no leaves on the trees so like when i'm drawing a tree and it just happens to be the time of year where there's no leaves on the tree i don't i'm pretty or detail oriented with that so i don't like to put leaves on the tree so maybe we'll revisit this tree uh over the season for whatever reason this could be a nice little pose like this is where you go find the rhino it's hanging out by the listening tree reflecting as as the reflecting rhino does and you can see here again like i blocked out the characters and then i blocked in the tree i even did more of that where i like blocked in the the grass here in a second you'll see grass 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 so i could do the sky behind it kind of fade some things out just subtle things to, to break up the panels a little bit make them more interesting to look at one of my mentors when i was in high school told me once like every comic panel should be a piece of art you know <laughs> which is a lot no pressure or anything like he's like you should be able to take that panel out and hang it on your wall kind of thing uh, okay so tomorrow is going to be the love story for uh that we that we chose i'm not going to click that i'm not going to show you i want it to be a surprise but make sure you watch that but for today for the rest of the stream here I'm live till about 10.45. Then I gotta go to another meeting. So uh, I'm gonna work on this strip. It's the first time I've drawn the, um, <clears throat> this will be Sunday's comic. And the first time I've drawn Empathy Elephant. So I've brought back Mojo Mouse. We have had him in the strip before. And uh, I've got some different panels to kind of ink and work on here. And I might just go ahead and, you know, just, I mean, this is the work I'm going to be doing today. So this is one of the kind of flows into a deep work stream. So thanks again. If you've been reading the comics, sharing the comics, um, that's the best way that you can support the comics at the moment and support be friends in that way. Like and comment. What are we at now? We're at 14 K likes over on TikTok. Thank you. Thanks everybody from joining. There's some people from TikTok. Let me check the chat real quick. How's it going, coffee? My coffee is right here. My coffee is always, coffee's always at the ready. And uh, Jennifer, hello. Bjorn, what's up? Bjorn's over on LinkedIn. Gemma, a couple of you are on all of the streams. I don't know how that's possible, but thank you for watching on all of the, the platforms. Over on Twitch, Bogters123, good morning. Um, yeah, so you'll be able to read this full comic on Sunday, share it with your friends. And this is the first time that I've drawn the Empathy Elephant. And, uh, you got Mojo Mouse. Sometimes I mess up and call him Modest Mouse because, come on, it's very close in, uh, the name. And I like doing things like, here, I'm just going to start some inking on this. Gemma said she switched from watching on X to YouTube, then back to TikTok. Yeah, we're live on all of the VFriends streams. If you're new to VFriends and you're checking out this stream, a lot of people pop in and out on TikTok or um, the replays on YouTube. Welcome to VFriends. It is a universe that was created by Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, over 280 characters with different traits, different, um, we call it like a Sesame Street meets Pokemon. And the mission is really to spread more happiness into the world through these characters and the stories. And there's gonna be a lot going on. Um, it might've seemed quiet for a while, but there's gonna be a lot of noise soon. And I um, can't say any more than that, guys. Not allowed. They'll come and take my pencil away. No. Um, it's exciting. It's an exciting time to be part of eFriends. And of course we have, I'm, I'm, my part is working on the daily comic strip and some of the story development. There's some other things going on behind the scenes that I'm super excited about. Of course we have VCon coming up in August. I, I assume I'll be there. 
I assume that I'd love to draw there for you in some capacity, but there are no, I don't have any details on that yet, but just know that VCon's coming up. Um, we got some plans for the comics. Um, if you're new to be friends and watching this, there's a collectible trading card game compete and collect so it's a game that you can play but also the best place to look around and go like what the heck is v friends i think is go to ebay and just type v friends and hit like sold items and you're gonna see like so many collectors already like there's toys there's the squishmallow pillows i want, I want one of those i want the hedgehog one um, there's all kinds of things out there that are, these are, these are the, um, the Macy's minis that came out uh, a little while ago. Right now, I'm going to tell you a secret. These are on like clearance at Macy's. <laughs> so if you're lucky to live <clears throat> in a smaller town like I am, then you can secretly find way more be friends on sale right now. But, um, yeah. We got, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put a pencil topper on. I'm just going to grab whatever is behind me. This today, it's Slaying Slug. So we're going to throw him on there real quick. These are fun. I feel like a little kid again, you know? The vending machines are out there with these V Friends minis. And there's all different types of. I can't even really get into it. There's gold and diamond and all the stuff that the kids like. There's ones that smell like bubble gum. It's crazy. It's fun. And yeah, you know, like I thought we're doing a lot of character development behind the scenes with the team. It's fun to think about the characters and the traits as I'm drawing. Like here we have Mojo Mouse. And I think like Mojo is sort of like kind of a version of style and swagger, I guess. We have Swaggy Sea Lion that I just showed you earlier. But Mojo is more like confidence. You can get your Mojo back. So I got like Mojo Mouse. Kind of like Mighty, Mighty Mouse. Like, not like Mighty Mouse. If anybody remembers Mighty Mouse watching this. Gary would know what I'm talking about. I love the Mighty Mouse cartoon by the way. It's we kid. Alright. Where can we get the pencil toppers? Well, I mean, I got mine on eBay to be honest with you. Um, but there are vending machines around. I think there's a map as well, maybe on the BeFriends site. I'm not very well prepared to talk to, to, to tell you how to get those, but uh, you can cheat by going to eBay and just ordering <laughs> ordering a bunch of capsules like I did. Like, well, my wife got a big batch of them for partially my birthday, but she also enjoyed opening them. And that's the funnest thing too is when you watch people open the cards, like full-grown adults. We're opening the cards and you're just happy. And so it's like mission accomplished right there. So if that's me, friend's mission is to spread hap more happiness and smiles and stuff in the world and make you have a better life a little bit. Even just the act of opening one of those capsules was just fun and addicting a little bit. <laughs> like, you know, like, oh, I got, I didn't get a complete set. I think I'm missing a couple of them. But I don't really care. I just want to put fun things on my Apple Pencil. So I'm trying. Look on eBay. There's a map that tells you where you can find vending machines. Carly has a vending machine. So go find Carly's vending machines. I think they're 50 cents. Yeah, don't let anyone steal your mojo. He's got a bucket of popcorn here kind of added that last minute because 
I'll show you in a minute. In a, in a second, I have him like, he's like, he's got his popcorn. <laughs> and again, I'm thinking about like, I don't know, could that be a sticker that we pop out and use somewhere? It could be fun. So you'll be able to read this one on Sunday. It'll be a fun one. And uh, this is what I'll be working on the majority of today. And then, you know, we're technically off on Monday. Uh, but the comic will be there. But, you know, I've been known to go live anyways on days off. Because I just enjoy not working. I just enjoy drawing. And... Could I go draw something else? Maybe. But, you know. Why would I do that? I'm having a lot of fun drawing these characters and it's good. Learning how to draw the empathy elephant here. So this is empathy elephant. Thinking about empathy. We're thinking a lot about balance lately in the characters. Like it's the at their best empathy is like awesome because you know you're having a different insight into where people are coming from kind of finding that middle ground that's that's good empathy elephants also purple you're going to hear gary talk a lot about finding purple not being so you know not to get political or anything like that but being so red or blue or you know black or white or whatever like how do we find common ground in the world but so that's the that's the best part about empathy someone might be having a bad day you don't know what's going on in their life and everybody has challenges we've got so many i oh mean i you know I follow the community i have my own community too and of artists and we i hear things that are going on in people's lives i just had a good friend one of my art friends um, had a big back surgery. So, and uh, over in the community, we had over in the B Friends community, we had Miami Mike recently have a surgery and he's feeling better. He's taking a walk for like the first time he said today over. On, so, like, I like following the community and seeing like what's going on out there and just seeing one of the great things about B Friends to me is how much the community cares about each other. It's not about, yeah, you know, there's money to be made and fun to be had and all that stuff. But in the end, there's friends that really care about each other, you know, and uh, we need to do more of that in the world. I agree a thousand percent. My favorite thing is the community, Gemma says. And, you know, I'm a strategic thinker <laughs> my my previous jobs were you know strategy market strategy and i just like to think about the reason people do things and so i think sometimes in these streams i might just do like a flash poll a flash survey with you just to kind of understand what the job is to be done for following the thing or why do you like a character why is it really vibing with you you don't have to, sometimes the stories will be too personal and you don't have to share those. Um, clearly you don't have to share anything private, but um, I just like to know why. I like to have an understanding and, and kind of figure out. It helps me when I'm drawing the characters in the future to know like, oh, this is why this character pops off to people. And it helps the characters have a better voice and tone and things right so you're helping develop the community and the characters just by sharing those things um that would be the first thing i'd ask today would be why like what first brought you to be friends what was the what was the thing i know a lot of people are going to say gary uh, but how did you discover V-Friends for the first time? And what made you 
say, I'm in on this. I like this. I'm very curious about that question. What was, there's all kinds of other things you can do to join other communities online. But what was it about this? What was it about V friends that made you say, today's the day I'm joining this community. For example, I think Victor's in the stream over, we did a Friday, last Friday stream. Uh, Victor scored a uh, sketch card for me just cause I was feeling, he was, he was on the fence about buying a rabbit. And I said, well, let's just, if you get a rabbit today, Rad, radical rabbit I'll draw you a sketch card and he was like he was all in so like but I just wonder out there what is the what is the trigger that made you go I want to be a part of this thing you know I can tell you mine was experiencing vcon and it, it didn't make me want to um, draw the comics or anything like that back then, but I experienced VCon and I saw the sense of community and that just energized me to where I was like, wow, I really like the energy in this building and the room and the community online. Everybody's so helpful. And then when I did see Gary's job posting, I was like, wow, imagine how cool it would be to work on a comic strip where you had fans like that, you know? And that was just like, uh, that, that just made me be like all in, right? Yeah. Let's take a look at some of your top cartooning, sweetie. Miss Ellis, Miss Eels. See you later. Thanks for watching, Miss Eels. Remember Binding Mouse? <laughs> Looking through here real quick. Looking through your comments. I like Rare Robot. Wes Martin says he likes Rare Robot. Likes to think I'm a rare breed and it plays off my self introspection. I like that. Miss Ellis, said, Miss Ellis Eels said, I love Gary's drawings, the first series. That's what got her into it. Record Sports Network says, I got into the V Friends world from Gary, giving away a great. A, graded card staying stayed and fell in love with the community everyone is fantastic and supportive thanks for those comments um corso <laughs> said i saw gary made a discord i didn't even have a name so i just joined it and the kindness from everybody in the community there yeah of course there's a lot of people that came in via gary I kind of knew what it was, but I, I didn't, you know, I didn't have a purpose for personally needing an NFT or like, you know, collecting anything more than I already collect. But so, yeah, so this will be Sunday's comic. <clears throat> I hope that you tune in to, to watch it on Sunday or see it on Sunday, read it on Sunday. And okay. Thank you again for sharing the comic and your comments and feedback, both good. And I mean, we haven't had much bad feedback, you know, but I'm, we're, I'm open to hearing all things that you think about the uh, comics and I got, it won't upset me. If you want to see something or if you don't like something that I'm doing, I may change it. I may change something if you have a good point. But um, we've got a pretty good mission with things here. And, um, you know, got a lot of plans going on behind the scenes. And um, I'm hoping that... I'm not hoping. I know. I know that this is, like, basically... Even though this has been around a couple years and like the NFT thing's been up and down and stuff like that, I think that this is really like the golden age of BeFriends if you look at it. Especially if you go, like I said, go check that eBay and just kind of search through and it's just pretty amazing. So my friends right now that don't know, they see me working on something and they're like, what is this VFriends thing? I just 
I just tell them like, oh, you got to see it's a collect. It's, it's more than just collectibles. It's, it's a bigger mission that Gary has to, uh, you know, better the world through these characters and through this mission. And, um, he has a good team around him and, um, it's awesome. So really appreciate you guys. I am going to wrap up this stream and go to a, another meeting. So thanks again for watching today and I will see you guys very soon. Back to the drawing board for me. I got to go head to another meeting and, uh, I will talk to you guys in the next stream, which will probably maybe be Monday, but if not Wednesday, check my, check the V, v friends at V friends channels for uh, our schedule for the rest of February. I think I have that posted or we're going to reshare that and uh, I'll see you soon. Just thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for reading. Thanks for being kind to each other. And um, I'm off. <laughs>